A recurrence relation is a natural way to describe the terms of a sequence, but even a simple recurrence relationship like poses a problem. Suppose you wanted to find the 100th term. Since we usually begin at n equals 0, the 100th term is the n equals 99 term, and to find that, we need to know the n equals 99 minus 198 and n equals 99 minus 2, 97 terms. But wait! To find the n equals 97 term, you'd need the n equals 96 and n equals 95 terms. And the n equals 95 term would require the n equals 94 and 93 term. And lather, rinse, repeat, we'd need to know all of the preceding terms. And if we made any mistake computing any term, every term after it would be wrong. What we want is a closed form expression for the terms of a sequence. This would allow us to compute any term directly. If our sequence has a generating function, we could use the Maclaurin series for f of x to find the terms of the sequence. So if we assume a power series expansion for f of x, then our coefficients can be found. But this doesn't help since finding the nth derivative requires finding the first n derivatives. So how can we avoid finding the first n derivatives? We already know the Maclaurin coefficients for some series, 1 over 1 minus u and e to the u. So if we can express our function in terms of either of these, we can find the coefficients directly. We'll start with the geometric series formula and get to the exponential one later on. To motivate this, let's find the 100th term of the recurrent sequence. And while we could compute a2, a3, a4, and so on up to a99, this would take a lot of effort. Instead, let's find the generating function. So remember when phi digs the generating function, it helps to align on the x n terms. So we assume f of x has a power series expansion. We want an a n minus 1 coefficient of x to the n. In our power series, we have a n minus 1 x to power n minus 1. So we'll take x times f of x. We'll also want a 2 a n minus 2 coefficient of x to the n. Again, in our power series, we have a n minus 2 x to the power n minus 2, so we'll take 2x squared f of x. Since the recurrence relationship is, subtracting gives us, since we know a0 and a1, we can substitute those in and solve for f of x. And so our generating function will be, To make use of this, remember, a series is a sum, is an integral. If we wanted to find the integral of a generating function, we'd probably use the partial fraction decomposition, which will be... So if we add these two expressions, we get a generating function. So we know the series expansion for a function of the form 1 over 1 minus u, and so we find and similarly And since we can treat our power series as an infinite degree polynomial, we can add it termwise. So our generating function expressed as a power series will be. And this gives us a closed form expression for our nth coefficient. So the 100th term will be where our index is equal to 99. Remember, 0 is our first term. And so our formula tells us that it will be.